Hi ladies, today I'm doing my June favorites and this is probably going to be the smallest favorites I've ever had but I've been loving these products here so I've been sticking to them and um, I guess I'll start off with this here. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and I know that a lot of people have talked about this and I bought this probably like three or four months ago and for some reason, maybe I applied it on wrong or used the wrong brush or something and I didn't like it when I put it on and I think there's different colors and some are translucent or they all go translucent, I'm honestly not sure, but I know that a lot of people have talked about them. So I picked it up and I think maybe it was too dark or something. I honestly don't know what it was, but I didn't like it from that one time that I used it. So I just stashed it along, you know, with the other stuff that I stash and I pulled it out, I don't know what it was for. I just pulled it out for something, I think I was trying to set something, or I was messing with my makeup and when I put it on, I actually liked it and I was like, okay, why didn't I like this the first time? And this one is in the color Silk Be Silky Beige 05 and it's just the one that you pick up at Walgreens, CVS, Target, and see, it is translucent. You can barely even see that I've put it on my finger. But I've been carrying this in my purse with me for my T-zone because now that it's hot, I do get, you know, the whole T-zone oil icky stuff. But I have been obsessed with this. And I just noticed just now that I looked at it to do this video that it says Shine Control. Long lasting flawless matte coverage with natural minerals. I really never even read the thing. Even when I bought it, I just went to go buy it because a lot of people love this and they swear by it. And it's like three bucks, three, four bucks. So if you guys are looking for something that's inexpensive, um, I would suggest going to get this. I did have my MAC, what's it called? Prep and Prime, that white one. But one night I was coming home and when I opened my car, it like fell out of my purse and it shattered everywhere. And my husband's like, oh, don't worry, I'll buy you another one. He still hasn't bought it for me. And it's $30, so I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, go spend $30. And another reason I don't have too many favorites is because seriously, I have been staying away from Ulta and Walgreens and CVS and Target. I've been trying so, so hard because I seriously have so much makeup that I need to use that I don't need to buy more. I do have a haul that I'm going to be doing for you guys. I'm gonna try to collect everything so that I can put it together for you guys maybe this weekend, but it's gonna be like a major collective haul from like Target, H&M, um, Forever 21, I mean a whole bunch of stuff that I've got uh, clothing wise for really good prices right now for summertime. So anyways, on to the next item. I've been applying that pressed powder with my Sedona Lace 928 and I never found much use for this other than just like maybe loose powder or touch-ups but I grabbed it that day and I was just like dipping in I started doing it and it actually worked out great with it so I carry this in my purse and it's from the Midnight Lace Collection I believe it's called it's the pink and black one it's like a flat kabuki top and they're super soft you guys know that i love sedona lace and i have the whole collection except for the two new ones that came out i gotta get my hands on those but yes these are very very soft bristles on here and again this is the 928 so i've just been applying my powder and then like for the eyebrow area for you girls that have you know the whole um eyebrow problem you know because you draw them on what i do is i just use like the little edge right here i just like twirl it around and then i just go like this right above the brows ladies and then for like the middle here then i just go sideways just like that <laughs> so yeah i've been loving these two together they've been in my makeup bag and of course i do blot before i apply this throughout the day moving on next if you guys can see my lips are this like corally color the lip uh stick or no wait the lip liner i am wearing is by star looks and this came inside my ipsy bag for was it for June or May? I think it was this month. And I love it, love it, love it. It's like a very bright corally color and it's in the color Tipsy and it looks just like this. And I think in the other bag I got a different one, but let me swatch it for you guys. It's very, very pigmented and it's creamy. It's not dry and that's what's on my lips. I have very little lips. I don't even know if you guys can see that. And then over it, I put the Essence 
what is this nude candy and I've talked about this before this is one of the cheapest I would say kind of like a dupe for NARS Turkish delight yes this is amazing stuff right here I believe you picked this up for like $2.99 at Ulta I think I have like two or three of these so that's what and it smells really good too and that's what I have over it let me just swatch it for you guys it's very 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 similar to the NARS I don't know if it's picking up because of my lighting so that's the combo that's on my lips so sticking to lips I picked up this new lipstick by MAC and this is in the orange collection I believe that's out and I went to go pick up some more fix plus and I saw like two or three colors because everything else was sold out. But one of the girls goes, I think I have another color. And she looked and it's Flamingo. And I couldn't even swatch it because the last one that she had was the one that I had to buy. So as soon as she pulled it out and I looked at it, I was like, I want it. Hands down, I want it. It is the most pretty, corally. It's got like a very, I would say like a coral with a hint of pink, but kind of like orangey. I don't know. It's just amazing. It's beautiful. And it smells good and I use this let me swatch it on this side here I use this in my tutorial for like the gold pearl eye look that I did I mean look how pretty that is and I know that the sunlight is hitting it go away sunlight there we go I mean it is just the most like natural coral color I've ever seen and it looks so pretty on your lips just by itself and this is the kind that are a little creamy they're not the dry one whatever that line is called the luster so yes, that's in the color from Mingo. And I finally picked up Melba by MAC. Every time I've been to MAC, I forget. When I get there, I'm like, I know that there's a uh, blush that I want, I just can't remember. And there's like one called, is it Pink Swoon? Or something like that, I might be saying it wrong. But I forget, every time I go there. And I finally picked up Melba, and that's what's on my cheeks. I've been using this every single day since I got it. I have not used any other blush. I don't know what took me so long. It's like the most natural blush out there that I've ever, ever used. Like, it literally just blends into my skin so pretty. It looks very, very natural, and I love it. I mean, if you have not picked up Melba, I would definitely go pick it up. And, I mean, you guys probably already have it, and I'm like so, so late. But I don't know if my lighting's picking it up. I'm like in my second dining room today. I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. It's just very, very natural. I'm trying to swatch it, but it's probably just going to blend right into my skin. So if you guys can see that there. Look how pretty that is. And my other favorite is my MAC Fix Plus, and I'm finally running low on it. I've been loving this because I've also been using it with like loose powders and pigments and stuff for my eyes. I've been experimenting, and one of my tutorials that I just posted last week or so has this in it, and I picked up the full bottle, and I am loving, loving, loving this. I actually found a new way to use this, and I'm sure you guys already knew it, but... She filled me in on it, and I will be doing a video on that. The last item I have here is my Revlon... It, I think this is like a heat blow dryer thing. It's got that brush thing. This is a newer one. I do have one that was a gray one and I've only done one tutorial with it, but this has got to be the best blow dryer slash brush thing in the whole wide world. For one, it is so, so quick. Two, it's inexpensive and very easy to use. You just got to be careful because it does get hot, but just like any other hot tool, you have to be cautious. I picked this up with my Ulta bonus what are they called my reward points or whatever last month because my other one was kind of getting old and I'm like all right well if I only had to pay like five dollar difference to upgrade to get this because I was able to get like a blow dryer or something like that so I picked this up I have two tutorials I'm going to be doing for you guys with this it's going to be like a five minute hair tutorial like no joke that's why this thing is so amazing anytime I'm trying to run out the door and I don't just want my hair to be just straight flat I use this because you can do like a loose curl with this. It does come with a smaller, thinner barrel. Barrel. Blah, blah, blah. And with this one here, and you can do like a hook kind of curl at the bottom, and then you could do like a full on curl for loose curls. It's amazing stuff. And I believe you could probably pick this up at Walmart for like 20 bucks, and it's so worth it. Those are all my favorites, but I do have the two hair tutorials or two. Parts, I guess I'm gonna do to show you that I you that I do with this. I'm gonna be doing like this. Alrighty then, that summer tank that's going around for like summer essential beauty products or something like that. Then I have 
something that I've been telling you guys I'm gonna be doing, but I just have not had time to do it and I have to put it all together. But I'll let you know right now what it is. It's gonna be called the 5K, wait, the big 5K giveaway. I hit 5,000 subscribers last week and I'm almost to 5,500, you guys. Oh my God, I love you guys so much. This is like cool. I know it's only 5,000, but to me it means the world, especially to you loyal subscribers. So I'm gonna get that giveaway put together and there's another one i oh my god i'm so excited i get so excited talking to you guys i'm like a total goofball but i know you guys want workout videos but i'm telling you guys it's been ridiculous i've been getting like wood flooring in my house and my house is shifted right now i'm like redoing stuff in the house and it's a hot mess and it's 115 degrees outside right now Sorry guys, I thought I'd just maybe fill you in on why I've been slacking with the videos and I really, really, really want to get them done, but it's been so hard for me. So just please stand by and be patient and I'm going to try to like do a whole bunch of videos and upload them and then just release them throughout the week. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and everything will be listed down below. Mwah. See you later.